We are given f of x equals negative 2x cubed plus 10. For part a, we're asked to determine f of two. To determine f of two, we substitute two for x. f of two is equal to negative two times the cube of two plus 10, which is equal to, the cube of two is eight. Eight times negative two is negative 16. And negative 16 plus 10 is equal to negative six. Part b, we're asked to determine df dx at x equals two. This is the same as f prime of two. Let's begin by determining df dx, which is a derivative of f with respect to x, which we often denote as just f prime of x, which is equal to the derivative of negative two x cubed plus 10 with respect to x. The derivative of negative two x cubed is equal to negative six x squared. We multiply by three and then subtract one from the exponent plus the derivative of 10, which is zero, and therefore df dx is equal to negative six x squared. And now to determine df dx at x equals two, or f prime of two, we substitute two for x in the derivative function, which gives us negative six times the square of two, which is equal to negative six times four, or negative 24. For part c, we're asked to determine the formula for x equals f inverse of y, then determine f inverse of negative six. Notice here we're expressing the derivative function as a function of y, not as a function of x, to determine f inverse of y, we replace f of x with y in the original function and then solve for x, which indicates we begin with y equals negative two x cubed plus 10, and now we need to solve for x. Let's add two x cubed to both sides and also subtract y from both sides, which gives us two x cubed equals 10 minus y. Next, let's go ahead and divide both sides by two. On the right, I'll divide each term by two. Simplifying, we have x cubed equals five minus one half y. And now we need to cube root both sides to solve for x. Because the index is odd, we do not include a plus or minus. And we have x equals the cube root of five minus one half y. If we want to, we could also write this as the quantity five minus one half y raised to the one third power. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cube root, and because x equals f inverse of y, we now know f inverse of y is equal to the cube root, again, of five minus one half y. Next, we're asked to determine f inverse of negative six now we could substitute negative six for y into f inverse of y and then evaluate the function, which we'll do, but we should be able to recognize if f of two is equal to negative six, then f inverse of negative six should equal positive two. If the original function maps two to negative six, the inverse function should map negative six back to two. But we'll go ahead and check it by subbing in negative six into our inverse function or f inverse of y which gives us the cube root of five minus one half times negative six, which gives us the cube root of five plus three or eight, and the cube root of eight is two. So we did get the result that we expected. And for part D, we're asked to find df inverse dy at y equals f of two. So again, what we could do is find the derivative of f inverse of y with respect to y, and then sub in y equals f of two, where f of two we know from part a is equal to negative six. Instead of doing that though, we'll use the fact that we know that the derivative function values and slopes of tangent lines to functions and inverse functions are reciprocals at corresponding points. So to begin, df inverse dy at y equals f of two can be expressed as f inverse prime of f of two. We know f of two from part a is equal to negative six. So let's first write this as f inverse prime of negative six. This is equal to, using the definition at the bottom here on the right, this is equal to one divided by f prime of f inverse of negative six. And we know f inverse of negative six is equal to two, and therefore we can write this as one over f prime of two and we know f prime of two is equal to negative 24 from part b, and therefore, f inverse prime of f of two, or f inverse prime of negative six, 
is equal to one divided by negative 24 or negative 1 24th. I hope you found this helpful.